asked Raul to leave the room, so you might want to take your kids out of the room too. Because we're talking about we're talking about sex and more and more treatments for or options for sexual dysfunction are now being developed for women. And Dr. Erwin Goldstein and Sue Goldstein from San Diego Sexual Medicine is here to talk about huge news and what you advocate for every day of your professional lives. You two are partners in life and partners in business as well, which I love. 40 years. What's the latest? <laughs> So the latest is that the FDA meeting that happened in the fall, something happened that was positive and industry is now viewing positively investments in trying to develop new products for women. Dr. Goldstein was on the show last fall and he, he had just come back from Washington DC talking about a panel that he was on for the FDA kind of advocating for for more research, more clinical research like what you do, Sue, for to, to talk about sexual dysfunction for women because it's sort of like this big pink elephant and a huge <laughs> blind spot, you know, that nobody talks about or, or does anything about. So there's some new clinical trials that are going on or new drugs or treatments, what's going on? So there's a drug called Brie melanotide. It's a melanocortin and you take it by subcutaneous injection. Okay. Uh, it takes about an hour to work. It lasts for about four to six hours. What and does it, it, do? dr it dramatically increases brain dopamine. Just okay. one step backward, research has shown that when women have normal sexual function, the right side of their brain increases blood flow, and the left side of the brain absolutely shuts down blood flow. It actually stops all blood flow. That's the. Like during sex? During or just sex. thinking about sex? Or well, just actually During having sex? the actual act of sex. Okay. And this is the, the sort of multitask area, and you've got to shut that off. Yeah, interesting. You've got to activate that thing. So women who have sexual problems have an imbalance, basically. So this drug restores the balance. It, it activates dopamine like no other product. And dopamine is this as a, as a, fabulous product. As a, a clinical researcher, what are your thoughts on all this? Well, our subjects who have been in past trials with this particular product, um, this investigational medication, had incredibly positive things to say, that it totally changed their lives. Awesome. So what I'm really most excited about with this upcoming study, it's, well, it's not upcoming, it just started. We actually screened our first patient last we week. We did. Yes. Um, <laughs> that is 32 weeks of a situation where you can either be an active drug or a placebo, but if you go through the 32 weeks, we then have a, a follow-up study that's 52 weeks, a full year of everybody being on the medication, yeah. whether you're on active drug or placebo initially. So this is an incredible opportunity for women to be on this new medication to help them with their low desire without, so without paying for a doctor's visit. We'll pay them for their time and trouble to, to, and travel without having to worry about getting medication, which is not yet approved but we have seen positive safety and positive efficacy, so it's a wonderful opportunity for premenopausal women with low sexual desire. Low sexual desire is that one. What are the other ones? So there's arousal, orgasm, and pain ones, yeah. and uh, we're gonna talk now about pain. All right, so, uh, that's a big deal. So there's two new studies with pain. 30 million women have discomfort during sexual activity. It's uh, it's undiscussed uh, problem right? of sex. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we have found that hormones. This, these two are hormones. Hormones affect the genital physiology and function, making the lubrication happen, making the cells more thick and uh, healthy. Um, so these are for postmenopausal women, these two new studies. Oh, uh, uh, the estrogen is given either as a capsule directly within the genital or it's actually taken oral. It's our first oral medication oh, interesting. for women with pain during sexual And these activity. are all FDA trials? These are all FDA trials. Oh, well, no, wow. one of them is our, actually an approved medication that we are doing as our own research. Oh, we, that's right. We love to be able to do some of our own research when we have ideas. So one of these trials is an FDA approved um, medication where we're actually looking at ch changes to the genitalia. Uh, the other trial is um, an FDA trial, so this is not yet available, but it's an estrogen that we're putting directly into um, the genitals and looking for decrease in pain that way. So there are two different trials, this is um, great. With but both for women who are postmenopausal with, with pain. This is great, the Goldsteins. So, um, so sex is an unmet medical need and we really need to put more effort into it, and these are those things. You're so we have a will. third You're thing to talk about. Oh, wait, we, we got to wrap. Can you do that one really quickly? Alvarado Hospital is doing sex in our city one more time. Oh, that's it's what I was going to At the Terra okay. Restaurant. Yeah. It's just near Alvarado. It's on El Cajon We've Boulevard. We've done this every year around Valentine's Day, so we're excited for the first okay. time we're taking it out of the hospital. AlvaradoHospital.com. You have to register. Okay, 10 bucks. 
This is great. You guys spread goodwill around the planet, Thank man. Thank you so much for doing you this. You do a lot of mitigating of the bad stuff that happens <laughs> around this world. Thank you guys for being here. And for more information, go to our website and uh, click on the Scene On tab. Erica?